Well, today we return to the comet moth caterpillars, also known as our Gemma Mitre from Madagascar. These larvae have just shed into instar number three and some are still in the process. If you look closely, you can still see the shed skin attached to the plant. These caterpillars weave a silk mat to attach themselves to so that they can just walk out of their skin when they are ready. Some caterpillars will eat the shed skin. However, I have found so far that these do not, they just simply walk away. This one is in the process of shedding right now and is about halfway out. Shedding the exoskeleton is a stressful time for caterpillars. They are relatively defenseless during the process and it requires a lot of energy to escape the old skin. In a moment, you will see this one drop its head case to reveal a brand new face underneath. And he seems to be bothered that it hasn't fallen away and will make sure to clean up after himself as well, which you will see in the next couple of seconds. Once that is done, he will continue to slowly squeeze out of that old costume. And uh, there it goes. In this instar, there are some new colors. Now you can see a band of maroon red between the segments and they have lost the black spot on their clasper. This is largely how they will look for the rest of their time growing, but they will become thicker and thicker over time and can be quite large before making their cocoons. The lumps and bumps you see on the head will smooth out somewhat as they grow, and I will be sure to come back and take another look when we reach in star number four. As you can see, a few have resumed eating now, and we probably have at least a few weeks until these caterpillars grow to the size that they are ready to weave their incredible and unusual cocoons. So please follow along with me on this journey and subscribe so you will never miss what comes next.